If you're using custom collections in your application, you will love this change. It's a new collected by attribute. And even if you don't, let's run through the process of creating a custom collection for a set of database results and see what this looks like. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just dump out all of the users in my application here, just using user get. Let's go ahead and create some in the database just so we have some results to play with. So let's go ahead and use our user factory and we'll go ahead and create out 10 items in the database here. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's go over to the browser and have a look. Now this gets bundled up, these results get bundled up in a Laravel collection. So this is just a plain old collection class, which has all the methods you would expect to be able to do what you want with the data inside of these. It doesn't have to be for Eloquent, it can be just a standard collection as well, but we're talking about model collections here that we get the results back from Eloquent. Now to create a custom collection, first of all, why would you want to create a custom collection? Well, you might have very specific functionality you want to add on to this collection. There are multiple reasons, but let's take a look at how this works now. So somewhere in our app, let's go ahead and create out a new directory. So let's create a directory out in here called collections. You could of course put these anywhere. And let's go ahead and create out a PHP class called user collection. Now, when we create this, we could do this manually, but we would want this to extend the base illuminate support collection or database eloquent collection. Both of these are pretty much the same thing. So let's go ahead and create that class out now. And you can see that we've got now got a user collection. This extends the base collection. And what we can do is we can specify within the user model. So let's open this up that when we get back a collection of these items with Eloquent, which collection do we want to use? Now, by the default, that's the standard collection. Let's go down to the bottom of our class and let's define out a public function in here called new collection. This just overrides what we already have. So we can even just bring that in with the signature from the base model. So this gives us an array of models. So there'll be an array of users and we can do whatever we want in here. So we could return a new user collection now and we could hydrate that collection with the models that we get back from the database. So now that we've done this, now that we've defined this new collection method, what's gonna happen is we are now getting back a user collection, which is gonna work in exactly the same way as a standard collection, because we're just extending it, but we now have a custom collection. That means that over on the user collection, we could define out any of our own methods in here to do something with the data inside of it. Now that's beyond the scope of what we're talking about here. We just wanna know what this new collected by attribute is and how it works. Well, it's a lot simpler. So over in our model, rather than defining or overriding this new collection method, we can do something a lot more convenient. We can come right to the top of our model and we can use the collected by attribute specifying the name of the collection. That is our user collection. Let's go ahead and pull the full namespace of that into here. And that is gonna have exactly the same effect. And you can see we've still got a custom user collection despite the fact we haven't defined out that method or overrided that method. So a much easier way now to define a custom collection for any of our models when we need them.